Today we're going to be talking about quilting cottons and Bonnie Bailey's here to show us an easy quilting project using these quilting cottons. So welcome Bonnie. Thanks. And I'm excited to see what we're going to make because quilting cottons are so fun. They're double sided. Why they're do you so, like to use them? They're so versatile. I mean really once your project's done, it's done. You don't have to line any bags and you don't have to quilt the quilt. It's great. It's just ready to go and makes it easy to work with. So let's pull out the quilt we're going to be making today. And this is adorable. Just kind of a lap size quilt. Yeah, just a, I, I made it for my nephew. I put his initials on it. Personalize it. Love mm -hmm. that. So I used, actually this is only three different fabrics because I reversed some of the strips on it. So I've got seven different strips on this and they're all, all they're, they're all cut different sizes. So we'll talk about what size to cut the strips. Great. Okay, so tell us how you made this project. So I used three different fabrics and for our demo today, we've got the, the mustache, which the reverse is the dot. And then so you, the, it makes you look like you really yeah, have more fabric. It looks like I have like four fabrics mm -hmm. or, you know, you turn it over. It looks like there's, yeah, there's more than that. Six, I guess it would mm -hmm. be because there's actually three. So, um, the, the mustache and the dot there, there's four of those and they cut eight, eight inches each. Oh so, yeah. Okay. Those four. The yellow dot here, it's got, got the yellow two. chevron on the back and they're, they're cut six and a half. Okay. Two of those. And then the middle one, the lime green, is you just again did the one of that. I just did one of those and that's cut 10 inches. Great. And then you're going to want to cut your sashing strip. So you can see on the back of that that it looks exactly the same. That sashing strip looks just the same as it does on the front as it does the mm -hmm. back. But the front sashing strip is cut a little bit bigger. So we're going to do a little bit different. So it's actually cut one and three quarters. And then the back sashing strip is cut one and an eighth. So you'll want to cut one of those in, for in between each of your strips. So six pieces of each. Yep, six of those for your seven strips. Okay. Yeah. And then? And then you your front sashing it? strip, once you get those cut, then you're going to want to fold those in half, take it to your ironing board and press it in half. Okay. But you're not going to press your back Nope, piece. you don't press that one. All right. And then the next thing you're going to do is sew a back sashing strip and a front sashing strip to all of your strips. So at the same time. Yep. So we've already done that to this one as you can see. It's got the back sashing strip here. It's got the front sashing strip on the on the front side. All right. So we'll show you how to layer those. You first put your back sashing strip front side up, right side up. That's a better way to say it. And then you do your quilted cotton right side up and it for my, for all intents and purposes, our yellow dot. dot is the right side is up. The up. <laughs> no, it probably doesn't matter. It looks it good doesn't either really, way. No. <laughs> Just what you prefer. And then your front sashing strip with your raw edges, you're going to want to put that on top of that. Okay. So you've got those three layers. You can pin it at this point if you want. I prefer not to. I just kind of line them up as I sew. And do you do a fourth inch seam? Just a quarter inch seam. Okay. Like regular quilting. All right, so we'll take let's that. take it to the machine and let's sew this up. Well, that was quick and easy to do, to put those on. Yep, we did both of those in no time flat. So the next step here is that we're going to have to sew this strip to this strip. So I'd usually do them in, in, in pairs. Okay. So I did these two and these two. And Instead then of them doing together. a piece at a time, it's easier to do sections. It's more manageable it to work with. Great. Great idea. So what you have to do at this point is, so the back sashing strip, so you can see that we've got the back sashing here. That is going to be sewn now to the wrong side of the strip next to it. Okay. Okay. So here's the strip next to it. Okay. I pull that, kind of have to fold that out. All right. And then I'm going to sew it to the back side of okay. the strip next to it. And again, you can pin if you want. Otherwise, just start sewing. Okay. Line those edges up as you go. Great. Let's go sew. Okay, there we go. Okay. We've sewn that on. So now this is this side is finished now. That that's looks what that's going to look great. like. Great. 
Easy to do. And as you can see, the front isn't quite finished yet. Mm -hmm. But as you can also see, the, these come perfectly together. Mm -hmm. And that makes it so it's not a, a bulky seam right there. Those seam, the seam just it makes just those edges just come right flat. together. flat. That's brilliant. So yeah. smart. Isn't that great? I love whoever came up with this. Yeah. <laughs> and at this point, now you're going to fold the front one over. And that's why we have a folded edge, because that's going to be a finished edge. It's going to be left undone there. Okay. And we're just going to stitch down that. Now you could actually do just a straight stitch here if you want to, uh -huh. all the way down. Um, I just have done just a stitch. small zigzag. That looks very nice. And so you're going to want to use matching thread. You do want to use matching thread in your bobbin. And you know what's so nice? We just got our fill matching thread Yay. that matches <laughs> all of our basic colors. So I just wanted to show this. And we just have all the colors that will go with our stuff. So that's kind all of fun our... that you can match perfectly. Great. So I'm excited about that. All right. Look all done. Easy. Yes. That's great. Looks really great. So we're going to sew that yep. one on there. Yeah. At this point, you can sew the end one on. Since it's an odd number, you can sew the end one on to here before you before you sew this one to there. And then you make it a little bit easier. Add your last section onto the middle. So we have two more of these to do. Okay. And we'll be done. And we'll come back. Right. Sounds good. Okay. So we sewed our last sections on together. It looks great. Good job. And one thing that just to be reminded of if you're having trouble sewing all this bulk is fold it over so you can sew along there and that can go through the middle of your machine. Awesome. And that's why it's, it's a lot easier to sew those into, into sections first. But that last seam is a little tricky. You're right. <laughs> so really, we only have one more step until we're ready to bind this. And that's just to trim, trim it square and square it up. Quilt. So in order to make that a little easier, we're going to fold it in half so the top meets the bottom. You'll notice that these edges are all off a little bit. Some of the fabrics are a little longer than others. We'll square we started it up and make on it one nice. side or the other. Yeah, you can tell that you started on this side, I think. Yes. <laughs> That's all right. We're just going to line up. I like to line up a line of the ruler with one of the seams. Some of the sashing in there. That's a good point of reference. And then I'll just try to make it as big as I can. I want to make sure that that selvage is gone. And that looks pretty good right there. This is a lot of layers, so go very carefully. So. And we'll do the same thing with the other. Flip it over. Make sure we're still lined up on the top here. Can be a little intimidating to cut your quilt apart. Okay, I've got that lined up again right there, making sure that I get that selvage off. Very good. We so go. now we're all ready to bind. You can easily bind this in no time at all, and that makes a super easy lap size quilt. And very fun. Just in a day, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And what's also fun is um, Bonnie showed us before you can personalize your quilt and we have these letters that are free to download on our mm -hmm. website. And they're that size. I didn't have to make them bigger Adjust or smaller. Them at all. And you just did what? I just did a, I did a heat and bond. So a fusible and web. You top stitched and around I, it. Yep, I stitched around it. You could do a zigzag to finish it. And it's want. just raw edge. Great idea. Thanks for this quick and easy yeah, project. It'll be on our website um, if you want to make this quilt with our new quilted cottons. <laughs>